Well, as you can see, um, Cornwall got a lot better as we passed into Devon. Very, very pretty. Quite hilly though. Right, th this is much nicer now. It looks like I was a bit unfair about um, Cornwall because no, although, Cornwall. although South Cornwall was a bit of a shithole, um, North Cornwall, which we're in now, is really, really nice. It's sort of like the Cotswolds, but with the seaside and it's quite sunny and the people seem nice. And there aren't any mining works around. And I'm wondering if, if um, down in the south where it wasn't so nice, there was lots of old mines and stuff. And it was very industrial and a bit run down. But up here, they must have had a different kind of business. Um, and I don't know, it just looks a bit nicer. So I'll test my theory as we pass through the country to see if all post-mining industrial landscapes are horrible. Um, and, I'll, and I'll keep you informed of my thoughts. Anyway, so today's good so far. And we're about, I don't know, 30 miles in to, um, I think, 90 miles today. Okay, speak to you soon. Fifty miles done. Beautiful sunny day now. Absolutely gorgeous in South Devon. Fantastic. Where's Mr. Randall gone? Right, we're in Devon now, which is truly beautiful, but ever so hilly. It just seems to be one massive hill after another. You get rewarded with a great view at the top and a bit of a scary free ride down, but the hills are absolute killers. It's interesting to, to think about how many calories you need to do this. And we've spoken to a nutritionist before we set off. And you need, need an awful lot and you've got to eat virtually all day. And um, Loz is wearing one of these little Fitbit things on his arm which sort of calculates how many calories you've burnt up. And he's just already today burnt up 6,000 calories. Now we've got Mars bars and things and just discovered that a Mars bar is only about 200 calories so we've got to eat a phenomenal amount of food which is great because uh, you can just eat like a pig all day long and it doesn't matter and you still won't get enough calories in. Um, I'm eating these bars, these cereal bars, constantly to the point where my teeth ache. Um, but anyway, they seem to be working. And, and so far I haven't felt completely knackered yet. Well, not enough to, to you know, to, like I'm running out of energy. Obviously knackered, but not about to fall off kind of knackered. So, um, yeah, interesting stuff. Well, I, I think it's interesting. Before we left, I had some, uh, ooh, this shit, this fell off. Before we left, I had some t-shirts made up with our um, Land's End John Groats written on the back. And, and it wasn't because I wanted to show off or anything, I just wanted to let drivers know that we weren't just a pair of middle-aged old tossers blocking up the road, uh, going very slowly up hills. And so it's worked. People have been very tolerant. People are slowing down and waving and saying good luck and stuff. But what I didn't expect is some people have gone a bit further. And it was a guy yesterday on the A30 who just ran up to us and gave us some money and said, can you put that in your charity box which was lovely and um and today going for a place called holesworthy or howsworthy or something like that holesworthy. down holesworthy in um devon 
we stopped for a coffee in, in Waitrose. And um, one of the Waitrose uh, women off the till came out with some bars for us, you know, chocolate bars and stuff to help us on the journey. So, um, yeah, it's been really smashing. And, uh, yeah, people couldn't be any kinder. And we haven't had one bit of road rage, even though we have been blocking up roads going very slowly. Everyone's been perfectly charming, which is great. Since we left, we've um, had a look at the phones every now and then and been overwhelmed with the number of people who sponsored us and all the good luck messages we've received. So it's been absolutely brilliant and, um, yeah, really touched. And I'm sure Loz is too. Loz, are you yeah, very grateful? No, I wanted to say thank you very much to everybody who sponsored us as well. We've actually raised a huge amount of money, so thank you all. There you go. And we're not even... Well, we're two days into it now. So, yeah, who knows what we get in the end. This is brilliant. I've just stopped for a week and uh, all these cows think I'm the farmer and they've all come over to have a look. Come on. I just think you're hung like a bull. <laughs>